Okay, phase drill. Phase drill is our all-encompassing drill. We take it from the ground all the way into knockoff. Okay, so it goes through all the phases of our knockoff. All right, so we're coaching bend, we're coaching hands, we're coaching first step, eyes, feet. It all applies now. This is as close to a live rep as we'll get in Indy. Okay, so if you got these big orange balls that a lot of people use for cut blocks, right, this is when we're, we're going to use them for this. Okay, we want to have these guys low. Okay, I like the big ball because it actually gets lower and the guy doesn't have to bend as much. Okay, but it forces them to play low. The ball is awesome because it can tell you pretty much anything about the rep. All right, if my hands are high, my hands are going to roll over the top of the ball and I'm not going to be able to take the rep. Okay, if my eyes are above my hands when I strike, my feet are going to stop and I'm going to have to lift. Right, so I'm forcing myself to bend. I'm forcing myself to laser beam my eyes. I'm forcing myself to have great hands, great feet, right? It's a great drill for guys, and it's awesome because you're using a ball, less contact with other people, right? So we're not banging all the time. We're doing it on a ball so we're not hitting the crap out of each other, right? And we can do it with not, without helmets on, okay? It's an awesome drill to be able to do. We do it pretty much every day. It's also a mentality drill. So like when we go to like inside run, I like doing this drill right before we go to it. Get, it, get the blood flowing, get the mentality going. Okay, so let's look at 55 here. Okay, it's a pretty good rep. Again, forces him to bend. Okay, nice tight first step. Hands are on the bottom half of the ball. I'd like to see him a little bit tighter, but that's the idea. Again, we're in flat back. As we grab grass, eyes are going to finish above hands. It's a great rep. Let's watch 71, right? Eyes are above hands at contact. Feet are going to stop. Then I have to stop my feet to lift the ball. We're going to get our butt kicked on that rep, playing with too high to pad level, right? Go to the next rep here, okay? Again, I want to get my hands there as fast as I can. Don't load your hands. Your power comes from your feet. It doesn't come from your punch. It comes from your feet. Okay, so again, eyes are above hands. He's going to have to lift with his hips. Same thing over here with 75. Let's get to another good one here. Okay, let's watch this one, right? Hands are above the ball. Going to roll over the top. Can't do the drill, right? Hands are above the ball. Thumbs are in. Same thing we talked about before. Right, eyes are above hands at contact. We're going to have to stop the feet to lift. We'll go to the next one here. This one's good. Okay, let's watch this. Let's watch this right here. Okay, really good rep. Like to see maybe a little bit more bend. Hands are pretty good. Right, we're on the bottom half of the ball. Okay, but pretty good, right? He's able to play with the flat back, grab grass. Feet don't stop, hands finish above eyes. Really good rep. And then down here, right, we got the hands above the ball, ball rolls down, can't take the rep. Okay, it's a really great drill. Again, you're setting mentality and it can tell you a lot about your rep right away. Okay, now we got to disengage, right? We've, we've talked about how to engage a blocker, now we got to get off of a blocker. All right? So, now we're working, ripping off blocks. We call this steer rip, okay? I gotta have hips. My hips generate power when I rip, okay? Hips generate power when I rip. I wanna stay square. If I'm steering and my hips flare out, right, that's gonna make it really hard to rip back here, and it's now I'm making myself a one-gap player as well. I gotta keep my hips square as I steer, okay? I wanna finish with my hand behind my helmet, right? If I don't finish there, I'm not breaking hands off. Okay, we talk about in our room, holding is not an actual penalty in football, right? It doesn't get called. There's holding on every play. So holding is not an excuse for not making a tackle. Not getting off a block is why you didn't make the tackle, right? So I want to finish with my hands behind my helmet so I can break his hands off of me, all right? And then as we talked about, right, post arm, pin arm, same applies, okay? One way you can do this is from the ground to help them understand how to get their hip through. Um, it's good for, for younger guys. All right, again, I want to push on a 45, so this isn't a great picture of that. 
But again, finish with the hand behind the helmet. Now, with this drill, I don't want to catch myself and fall on my chest as you're seeing. I want to fall and land flush. That's, that means I got my hip through. Okay, so he should be falling right on his left hip. Okay, that means he threw his hip. That means we're going to have a violent rip. All right, let's get to some on our feet. We can do it with one arm, okay, or two arms. Here we got one arm, so we're just incorporating our post arm. Again, this is a great picture of what we want with our post arm, right? Lift up on a 45, we've softened that shoulder. That's beautiful, okay? Finish with the hand behind the helmet. One thing I don't love, right, we wanna get those hips involved. It's gonna be a way more violent rip if I involve the hips, all right? But again, just a little bit different variation of the drill to keep it fresh, all right? Again, easy setup. You can go right from knockoff and do this if you want, okay, because it's pretty much the same setup. All right, let's watch 98 down here. It's a good rep. Keep the hips square. As I knock them off, open up that shoulder, get those hips around, finish with the helmet or hand behind the helmet. That's a nice rep right there. 94, really good rep. Keep the hips square, get the hips around, right? Love it. Really good job, right? Need to have violent rip, get the hands off. This is what we don't want. Right, don't flare your hips. Stay square, stay square, stay square. All right, 24, flaring his hip out. Keep your hips square. Get to the next drill here, okay? Now we do rip retrace. This is our version of a tackling drill, okay? It's pretty low contact. Again, we don't have to bang all the time. We do enough of that um, when we go against the offense. All right, so we're working tackling, we're working ripping off blocks. All right, big thing with this, I want to rip back through the line of scrimmage. So as we saw there, I'm getting my hips back around when I rip, okay? It's the old, right, meet him where he's going, okay? So as I'm moving this way, the running back's going this way. So I got to rip back through the line of scrimmage where I came from to meet him at that intersect point. So we're working that in this drill, all right? So... We have a running back, we got an O-lineman, we got our D-lineman. This side's going to go this way, this side's going to go that way. All right? As we watch, right, hips are square. Got to have some anticipation, finding the ball carrier through the armpit. This is an awesome job by this young man. Rip, retrace back through the line of scrimmage, and I want to finish with my head across. All right? That means I beat him to the spot. Got to the spot before he did. All right? Got to have some anticipation. Okay? And again, I got to snap those hips around, right? We're not snapping the hip and getting back to the line of scrimmage, okay? Coaches here are acting as cones, okay? They got to rip and get back to you, right? They got to rip and get back to you, get back through the line of scrimmage, all right? This is an okay rep. He goes lateral. Again, I want to get back through the line of scrimmage. Notice he can't get his head across. Another great example of why you don't flare your hips, right? Another great example why you don't flare your hips, okay? My angles are off. I got to turn a whole 180 to get back to the line of scrimmage, okay? Keep your hips square. Give yourself a chance, 